today I'm going to show you how to create an overlay for GIF or boomerang or video. You will need to follow the same steps if you're gonna create for any of these with Luma Booth using Canva. So I'm on Luma Booth now and I'm gonna launch my event. On the event settings, you're gonna see that, you're gonna see the dimensions for the size of the overlay on capture settings, right? So it's gonna be here. Um, under GIF, you have to choose what you're gonna use first, either rectangle or square file for your GIF. Um, if you're gonna do rectangle, it says right here, image overlay right there, and it tells you the dimensions. So it says 720 PX and 960 PX in height. So let's start with creating a file on Canva. All right, so we're gonna custom size a file to what it says on Luma Booth. And let's start with creating a Halloween template. So right here, I'm just adding some designs. You don't have to add a border or anything, but in this case, I am going to add one. Um, so as you can see, I'm just doing like a Halloween uh, birthday bash and just playing around with some fonts. I decided to go with this um, kind of like school, school font and changing the color to a more orangey vibe. Um, so right here you can see I'm adding the borders, um, of course sending like the file to back, to position it to back so you can see the pumpkins and as well as the cat and stuff. I'm changing the colors just so it, you can see the difference um, or like just see the, the actual designs. Um, all right, but you don't have to do, do this border. You can just leave the pumpkins and like the Christina's Halloween bash. Once you're done, you have to save it into a transparent file, and then I just shared it. Okay, now that you created it, um, let's airdrop it. So what I like to do, I just like to airdrop it to myself, the design. And once I get it, I have it on my, on my files. I save it to, so I have it saved on my photos, it automatically saves there. You have to save it to your files, or that's what I do to find it easier when I'm on Luma Booth. Um, so from there, I save it on my iPad, save, and then I go back to Luma Booth. I make sure I launch it, because sometimes it's a little, like it doesn't register that you've added something new. So you have to launch it or restart it, but I just launch it. And then I go back to the capture settings, right? So where it says image overlay, you you go to choose and then you click on the design you, you made and then that's it. So now that we launch it, we're gonna launch the event and we're gonna put GIF. So it's gonna take the photos Take a photo of Joe. So this is what it's going to look like when you download it. And you're gonna follow the same steps to create a um, boomerang overlay, a video overlay, and that's it. Hope this video was helpful.